Hey everybody, welcome back to my Anime Reaction Channel, Giz Anime. Today we're going to be watching How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom, Episode 12. This will be the penultimate episode of this season for this anime. With Soma having won against Carmine, who was essentially on his side the whole time. He was just playing a traitor to expose the other traitors and then hand them over to Soma. Um, then we have Caster Vargas, who Soma defeated in his castle by creating a ship-type tank, which was pretty interesting. Uh, using his ability to control things, allowing him to make them think he was on the ship while he was making his way to the castle, in fact. And then we have Excel Walter, who has always been on Soma's side due to Juna being one of her younger relatives. So he's got the land, the sea, and the air on his side. So he goes to, he is now headed to Amadonia to defeat them with Gaius, uh, the leader of the Amadonian army, on his way back to Amadonia to try to stop him. But Soma has already set up a trap for him on his way there through some canyons cutting down his army quite a bit. So this episode will pick up where the main brunt of that fight will most likely end off. There's not a whole lot I think is really going to happen other than we're just going to beat them. I don't think we're going to lose anybody. We might gain some people on Soma's side. Uh, I do kind of like, I guess it's the granddaughter or the father, I can't remember which, of the young lady we see in the last episode that's talking about Gaius, you know, acting, I, I guess, I can't remember what she exactly said, but I think it was something like she's act, he's acting like she kind of figured he would. So, um, and you, there, you see some other people talking to her in the building, I'm assuming it was the castle of Amadonia. But maybe she'll join the uh, Soma side, maybe not. Uh, but with that said, let's get on to this episode though. See what happens, and I'll see you there. All right, everybody, here we go. What if Soma's actually in there and he has all the flags up like that to make it look like it hasn't fallen? All according to plan. All right. We are going in hot and heavy. I was wrong about him being already in the castle. You don't say! Probably wouldn't have been much of a battle if he was already inside of it, though, so... Oh. Okay, Halbert. I mean, I expect powerful attacks from Aisha. Especially when seeing her uh, little duel they had together, Aisha and the Shia, fire versus ice. They were going ham. <laughs> Yeah, he's not afraid to die, but he'll do it if it saves a bunch of lives. Okay. I mean, isn't that true for most people, though? Like, nobody wants to really see anybody die unless you're a psychopath. Who? So, I mean, even this guy probably doesn't want to see, like, his people die. No shit. Okay, if everybody is... Like, if he's being honest and it's lost, why doesn't he just tell everybody to stand down now? Go 
Okay, is that the girl that was in the castle? I'm assuming so. So she doesn't really want any part of this whole royalty thing? Is that what he was saying? Okay. That was weird. Why would he tell her to do something other than that? Like, did he just, like, literally give up before he even won? Whoa. Uh. Okay, that was still pretty brutal. Okay, someone's little body clone thing. No, but it'll buy time, which is what we need. I kind of get where this guy's coming from, though. Did he survive that though? Yeah, he survived that. Probably pushed off during the explosion. His determination is pretty, uh. Oh my. I wanna say noble, uh. Valiant? Not sure. Okay, so Valiant is a good word. Determined. Okay, so it was his dad, her dad. Okay, I get the old man is like a butler. That's probably who Sebastian is, but who's the other guy? Okay, are they trying to get at the fact that the soldiers or Amadonia is was behind these monsters being out here? Yes, but actually no. No, yes. Okay, so I doubt that they were the reason that the monsters were there, but they, Amidonians were there. Oh. So everybody hightailed it and left. Also, they set up a mission under the guise of evacuating the people in that town where the mission was to save them so that Amadonia, when Amadonia came, they wouldn't have been killed. Is what I'm getting that they just talked about. Things are going by so fast that I just can't really catch it all. What did you say? Okay, so the Empire, so we've got all these smaller kingdoms, and then we've got the Empire as a head. So whoever's the leader of the whole Empire is like the ruler over all the kingdoms, I'm assuming, right? So this Empire and this leader are going to come now to 
and Madonia, you know, Soma to have words with him because of what he's done by invading Amadonia. But if that's the case, why not just let them invade him and have the Empire come and stop stop Amadonia themselves? No, no. He's got a point. Like, wouldn't it go both ways? I <laughs> could not be more embarrassed to look good. What? Lucia is getting jealous that he's praising Juna. It's adorable. Yo, I can beat up everybody and kill just about anyone, but, uh, just talking in front of a group of people, that's too much. So, someone's basically introducing TV. Okay. They even have fake mics made of wood. That's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Just some random character we've never seen before. Shut up! Winning the hearts of the people through music. Okay. Why the mics though? Huh. <laughs> the jiggle physics. This guy thinks people are going to turn on him when the next singer comes up. Who could it be, though? Okay. So somebody from Amadonia singing their national anthem. I can see how that could get tense. Since they were literally just beaten. That was a short anthem. All right, everybody. I'm not really sure what to say about this episode. Um, there was a lot that obviously went on. And as I've stated during the episode, a lot of it does kind of fly by my head. I miss certain things while trying to read other things and while I'm commenting on one thing another thing happens and I forget about it so forgive me if I leave certain details out or miss certain details just you know let me know about them in the comments but so from what I've gathered obviously Soma won the fight and Gaius is dead his son and daughter both fled for obviously their lives, but I kind of thought that the daughter was, you know, one of those characters that would see reasoning and just go up to someone and be like, hey, look, you know, uh, maybe we could work out some things and maybe I could help you. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that it doesn't come up to where she ends up becoming one of their enemies still. 
And then there's the part where they state that the Empire, which, from what I'm gathering, is like what everything is. Everything is, like the whole countryside is just one gigantic Empire divided into whole, a whole lot of other little countries. And Amadonia being one of them, you know, the country where so Soma was living prior to this was one of them. And, you know, we've got like where Aisha's from as a kingdom, etc. So, you're not allowed to evade another country, especially during this peacetime where everybody's supposed to be banded together to unite against the demon army, which I hope eventually comes into play at some point. Soma invading Amadonia is against this peace treaty. So, in that right, wouldn't Amadonia invading Elfriedon be against the peace treaty? Which is what they were trying to do. They were trying to invade Elfriedon to take back the land that they used to own. And because of this peace treaty, they were really not supposed to do that. They just decided to because Soma came up as the new king and they were like, well, now's our chance. You know, we're never going to get an opportunity like this again. So because Soma did this to Amadonia... They know, or he is aware that the Empire, you know, the, the leaders of the Empire, will now come to Amadonia, where he is, or El Freedom, wherever he's set up at, to, I guess, question him at the least about what's going on, and at the most, take him into custody. But if that's the case, why did they even fight against Amadonia? Why not just let Amadonia take El Freedom, have the Empire come in, settled matters that way uh, and then have them just return to land you know set things back the way they were before Amadonia came in and, and took everything you know it kind of doesn't make any sense if that's and again like I said I've probably missed something along the way but if that's how things are being presented I don't get it I don't get the fight at all um, unless you know they were just worried that uh, there was going to be some kind of loss of life from Amadonia towards El Freedom somehow, and to prevent that, they went ahead and had the war. But okay, the war has been had. Like I said, Soma won. Uh, at the end, he's trying to bolster Amadonia's pride back up some, you know, giving them a little more of that confidence back because he's like, in the end, what really makes the country. But the people in the country, you know, uh, we all have our certain set of rules and standards and things of that nature that the governments or the those in charge institute, but in the end of the day, it's the people that make up said country. So I, I guess that's what he was getting at, and you know, don't lose your self-value with the loss of this war, you're still the people of this country. And because the lady at the end, the uh, was she a general or a captain? I can't remember. Basically said, you know, after the song, hey, you know, take my head now. And he was like, no, nah, I don't want to do that because you still live here. This is still your land. So, uh, but with that said, that's pretty much the episode. Let me know what you all thought of it. Um, not really sure how the final episode is going to wrap things up for us. But I'm glad that we're going to get one more just to kind of see, you know, how things will be set up for a second season if we do get one. And with that said, I will see you all next time.